Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I might be totally off my base today. I know nothing about this, but a gentleman asked me for some help. He's trying to create a Pantone color, which is 7463C, and I found one that's CP. And if you go to the just the internet and find a site like this, it actually gives you a conversion for CMYK. It actually gives you one for RGB, but he wanted in the CMYK. So it's 153, zero and 72. So I cut and pasted that into Corel so I would have those numbers. And then I just went to my, I've already got it down here. If you see, I've got C100, M53, zero and the K is 72. And I just went up to my windows into my color palette and went into uh, edit, edit palettes. So I'm just kind of starting over here, palettes and palette editor. And you can see I've just got my documented. I've already moved this to my document color. So that was one of his questions and Let's add a color, and if we add a, um, just go in here and start typing right here. Let's just type that one. That's why I brought it on the screen. We're gonna go 153, zero, whoop, and 72. And now you have that color. And when you get to that color, you can look down there, it's C100. And all I did was open my document palette and put it into my document. So go to windows and color palettes and document palettes. And then that way I can use that color over and over again. It's uh, right there. It's a really, well, it's somewhere in here. It's a really dark blue. There it is right there. And what I would do, because they're kind of hard to find, if you had a, if you save this color swatch and just call it that color, and then when you open it up, and if you wanted to, let's just take a Pentagon and, well, I've removed my color palette, so I'm gonna have to go to Windows, color palettes, open palettes. Well, you don't want to open palettes. That's for, that's another step, palettes. And then you just check, I'm gonna check RGB because that's what I use. And now you've got your RGB color palette. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna make this thing no fill in an outline of red. Now, if I wanted that four-sided well, let's make it five or six sided so it'll be a pentagon. And then if I want to change that color, I can go to my smart field tool, go right up here to my colors, get my eyedropper and draw my eyedropper to there. And then I can fill that in with that color. It's a really dark blue. Uh, let's look at it compared to a black. Uh, let's turn that black and let's, Let's look at it as I'm using somebody else's uh, page where it's a, it fills it in with black when you draw a rectangle. But it's, so it's a really dark blue. Anyway, I hope that helped that person and thank you for watching.